Welcome to Jyoti Hydroponics Farm videos. Let's get started to get better at farming. Today we'll be learning about the design layout for the stand of vertical farming using grow bags. Now here you would be having an option of installing lot many plants in a small amount of area. Now as you can see on the screen I have drawn the structure here for the complete stand. So Accordingly, you can increase the size, whether you want three layers or you want four layers or you want five layers, depending on that, you can just increase the size here. And this is the one side of the stand. The same stand is placed to the other side. So you, in one row, you will have approximately, either you will have six, either you will have eight or you will have 10. So at any point of time, you're increasing one single step. That means you're increasing two steps when we place this stand and there is one more stand being placed just opposite to it. So as the number of steps that increases, so that is multiplied into two and it gives you the total number of slabs to install your grow bags. Now here I have taken the size of the slab, I mean the length of the slab 3.3 feet that is approximately 102 centimeters then the width of this slab is 21 centimeters height is 20 centimeters and the total height is 2 feet so that means so that means even a fifth grade student he can just go ahead and do the picking of the vegetables or fruits that we are growing here in this style of uh, hydroponic system but be very careful while you are making this stand you need to make sure that you use the same thickness of the platform as mentioned that is 8 mm and thickness of the leg has to be 2 centimeters only then it will be able to control the weight of the grow bags that will be installing in this stand i hope the complete design layout for the stand of vertical farming using grow bags is clear so just wait here for a while, look at the specification of the stands, give the specification to any labor nearby who is expert into doing iron works. So he'll be easily able to make this kind of stand for you that too at a very cheaper cost. Rather than going ahead and purchasing these stands from anywhere else, I would rather suggest just go and contact any of the local vendors or local labors who are expert into make, making these kind of stands. So for them, it's very easy to make because it's a simple welding with a simple iron being used in, in this kind of setup. So contact them, they'll be very happy to assist, even they'll get a work. We'll be doing a kind of favor to them as well because they never get good work in a country. So that would be again a gesture for them. If we are doing something, we do for people who can earn and give blessings to us so i would rather suggest go to local vendors not with any other who are selling these stands at very high cost so contact any of the local labors or vendors nearby at your place and get this built let's move forward now here this is how it looks after we completely build it up and before we proceed further i would like to confirm the grow bags here that we are using, these are for small plants. So the size of the grow bags is 20 into 20 into 30. So 20 centimeters of length, 20 centimeters of breadth and 30 centimeters of height. Got it? Or else you can also use 20, 20, 20, even that will work out. But I would rather just go with 20, 20, 30 because if you are using 20, 20, 30, then the water holding capacity of that grow bag is approximately 3 to 3.5 gallons. That is uh, approximately uh, 12 liters. And if it's 20, 20, 20, it's approximately 2 to 2.5 or 2.75 gallons. So that makes it around 8 liters. So anything will work. No issues with any of the sizes that you're using for vertical style farming for strawberry. But again, before purchasing the grow bags, according to the size of your grow bags, you make your stand. So whatever stand that you are making, 
if you are buying 30 centimeters of height of grow bag then here this will be 30 30 centimeters then the height has to be 30 centimeters in that case got it if the height of the grow bag is 30 centimeters make sure that this height has to be increased to 30 centimeters so let's move forward now here as you can see that a space between the two stands that hasn't been covered still with the weed mats but there are still we have kept the weed mats there it's still in the stage of installing strawberries in the uh, vertical tower here so just have a look here i'm just showing you this so that you have a clear picture about vertical farming using grow bags and how it looks because the process is completely the same as that we had shown you in the earlier video the process is completely same installing plants in the same way installing drip system in the same way so all process is completely same only the difference is style of installing your plants here you have the option to approximately install more than four lakhs of plants in one acre of land so if you are installing four four lakhs of plants that is strawberries in one acre of land one plant gives you minimum approximately uh, 1 to 1.5 kg or 2 kg of strawberries. So approximately you can generate 4 lakhs kg of strawberries in 2 or 3 months or 4 months. And according to that if you just sell it out in the market at a minimum price of 100 rupees per kg even then you will be easily able to make 4 crores in a year with one season only. So that depends on you how you are managing how you are monitoring your uh, strawberry plants. And you, as you can look here, we are placing the plants in the same way that we did in our previous video. So everything goes same. There is no specific signs here how we need to put that or how we need to place the plants in the right position. It's very simple. You take it out from your seedling tray and place it here directly. But every time when you transfer these plants from your seedling tray to the cocoa peat, make sure that you, you never water your plants with the nutrient solution immediately for minimum five days you give simple plain water to them and after five days start giving very small quantity of nutrients of around uh, i would say approximately 50 to 75 ppm level nutrients only do not increase the nutrients to 100 or 150 increase the nutrients gradually uh, first five days plain water then five days with good amount of nutrition of around 50 to 70, 75 ppm level nutritions then increase the ppm every five days and then be stable on the nutrients path what plants actually require start giving those nutrients after 20 days so after 20 days we start giving nutrients at full fledged to the plants and i can assure you all emerging farmers for you, the sky is the limit. I can guarantee you that. If you are planning to get into farming, please use this method and go ahead exploring the new technology with the new ideas that would really help you out in the life. And here I would just simply say, agriculture is only the sector that can save our country when we have any kind of pandemic or any kind of recession happening in the world. Agriculture is the only sector that protects our country from falling GDP. So every emerging farmers and every graduates, I would request you all to please get into this field because we have very few farmers left in our country who are actually growing things, but not in a technical way or not in a way where we can increase the production for the crowd of our country. So please go ahead and try this out and I can guarantee that this is, this would be, and I can guarantee that this would be a kind of insulation where sky would be the limit for you all. I hope this would have cleared all your doubts for the vertical farming using grow bags. I'll be meeting you in the next session. Till then, goodbye and have a nice day. All the best.